should take a look around. Not Good morning, you guys. It is day three in Europe, second day in Austria. And let me tell you what happened yesterday. So we had quite a few comedy of errors because from the van, when we got into Austria, I think the timing was a little off because it was Father's Day yesterday and there was a lot, pretty much almost all of the shops, everything was closed. And to get to my hotel and Iman's hotel, all of the roads were closed. We were trying to go around the city. The driver was getting frustrated. We also had all of our luggage with us and long story short, we couldn't bypass any of the roads. So Iman had to get off at the bottom of the old town and lug all of his suitcases in cobblestone up three kilometers into the old town just so that he could get into his hotel. And my driver or the driver of the van spoke to one of the taxi drivers and explained the situation and told him that I needed to get to this hotel and the taxi driver said that he could get in because he was like a local car and technically like they're allowed to get in. I, I think that's what I understood. So I got out of the van we were in, got into the taxi and finally made my way to the hotel. Then when I got to my hotel, I was like, okay, perfect. Unpacked everything, quickly got ready. And then I was like, all right, got, I'm gonna go explore the city. I'm gonna download the, the map and like, or Google like what's semi open because at this point it was around 4 p.m. or 3 or 4 p.m. and I hadn't eaten since like 6 a.m. at breakfast and I was starving. But like I said, everything was closed. So I turned on my international data roaming. It wasn't working. <laughs> and I was like, okay, great. How am I gonna find places around me? Um, and then the receptionist did mention, she's like, look, everything's closed, so good luck. Pretty much just like try to walk the streets and uh, find food, right? So I did, she gave me a, like an old school map, a printout map and I just started walking and she said, anyway, it's safe for you to walk around as a girl here, so you're fine. So I was like, okay, great. I started walking around Salzburg, just the streets, like scouring the area, and I ran into Georgina with all of her luggage. And I actually didn't know she was arriving that day too, so, so she was like, oh, great, come help me with my suitcases. So I carried all of her suitcases into her hotel and then when I walked in, I ran into Belle and then I told Belle the whole situation of what happened to us that day. And then she, she was in the awa and she felt really bad. So she's like, you haven't eaten yet? She's like, here, I just have a bag of peaches. Do you want one? And I was like, okay, fine. So I had a peach at around 5, 6 p.m. And at that, no, it was like 5.45. And then at that point, um, it was time to go grab drinks at 6 p.m. for everyone who was in town so that is why you saw the footage of all of us walking together to this rooftop and it was so pretty but we couldn't stay because also i was starving it was already 6 7 pm already i still haven't eaten so we ended up just uh grabbing dinner somewhere around here and i went to bed pretty early so now it's today <laughs> okay so now you're all caught up today is just gonna be exploring the city and probably gonna grab lunch with whoever I run into or whoever is available. I have not had time to fix any of my stuff. Actually, like if you look, all of my stuff is laid out on the bed. I just exploded everything and I just chose whatever was here and threw something on. So I actually, usually you guys know I plan my outfits for all my trips, but for this one, I was also just too tired and I just didn't really want to work so much on this trip and I really wanted to soak all of the time and memories I had in with my friends because I haven't seen them in a really long time and two, I just don't know how many more trips like these with my friends I'm gonna have. So probably not gonna have a lot of outfit inspo. Sorry for those of you who are looking for them. But also I did, like I said, a bunch of errors. I brought one pair of shoes and when I wore them in Munich, 
they broke within 10 minutes of me wearing them. I bought them two years ago. I've never worn them once, so they probably just d deteriorated in my closet while I was away. So I'm gonna try to buy a pair of shoes somewhere here today. That's on the agenda, one. Two, grab lunch with some friends, and then three, just explore the city. So as usual, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's go. All right, this is what I'm wearing. I just wore a black uh, short jumpsuit, uh, black oversized blazer, my bag, and like I said, my shoes broke, so I just have my sneakers on. All right, let's go. <gasps> Okay, we just finished having lunch with some of the people who came into town. Everyone's really tired, so they all went back to their hotels to rest. And I'm just gonna walk a little bit and explore a little bit more of this side of town and slowly head back to my hotel so that I can get dressed too because today is the first wedding event. Today is the welcome drinks for everyone. So we're going to all be dressed up. We're required to dress in drindles and in lederhosens. Uh, I hope I said that correctly. So I'm gonna head back and change into mine and then go see everyone. All right, we are back in the room and I changed into my drindle, ignore the mess in the back. And it is super costumey. <laughs> but I don't have another choice. This is my only drindle, so this is what I'm wearing. And I just have my white shoes. And now let's go meet up with everyone. Young people are always with us. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs>
was Adrian's bachelor party. Everything.